Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome to uh, this video. So today, we are going to be reviewing the Elegoo Mercury Plus 2-in-1 Washing and Curing Machine. All right, however, for full disclosure, I want to let you guys know that Elegoo did send me this machine to review and to keep, but they did not ask for anything else in return other than an honest review, and I would give you no less. So without further ado, let's continue. All right, let's start at the beginning. So we have this is the box that it comes in. When you open that box, you are greeted with some nice foam and you get your toolkit and you get your wash and cure station. All right, once you lift the lid of your cure station, you're going to have a bucket which you put your cleaning solution in and you're also gonna have a basket which holds your miniatures that you then dunk into the bucket of your cleaning solution while the machine turns. Now that extra little toolbox that you get contains your power cord. You're gonna get a couple of Allen wrenches in there. You're gonna get your turntable, which is used for when you cure your 3D prints. Then you get a little metal bracket here, which is designed to be used with your Elegoo Mars printers, and you can take the entire build plate and then put it into the cleaning machine itself, which is really nice. Now in the back of the machine, this is where you're going to find your power button and where you plug in your power cord. All right, guys, I gotta be honest with you here, and this is the lid to this bucket. I hate, I do not like this at all. The lid was warped when I first got it. I don't know if this was a quality control thing or if this was something that it was just a random fluke, but the lid doesn't fit on this bucket very well because it's warped. So it's fighting you the whole way trying to get this thing to lock into place. Once it does lock into place, it doesn't seem very secure. So I would say, this is normally for your harsh chemicals like your alcohols or anything else that you might be running to clean your prints and the lid is designed so that way it doesn't evaporate or that way you don't have any accidental spills. I would not trust this lid for storage. If you have, you know, a bucket full of alcohol in it or let's say denatured alcohol and this thing falls over, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole lid just pops off and now your floor is just drenched in this stuff. So I would be very, very careful when it comes to this lid. I would only use it temporarily probably for like water so that way it doesn't evaporate or something but if you have any more harsh chemicals that you definitely don't want spilt on the ground I would dump those into a better container that has a more secure lid so that way it doesn't accidentally you know pop off or fall over or anything of that sort so I have to tell you about this the lid is really bad the bucket itself however is perfectly fine all right now let's briefly talk about the operation when it comes to this it's super simple so you have a button that's called mode and it swaps between two modes one of them is the wash cycle with the little arrows going in a circle the other one is a light bulb, which is your cure station. So what you do is you select the mode that you want, and it shows you on the side. Then you add as much time as you want, or you could minus the time, and then you click start or stop, and it's as simple as that. All right, now for a basket cleaning, all you gotta do is take the basket and put it into the bucket, place your 3D prints inside, then you place the bucket into the machine. It has a groove that fits the bucket into place, and then the basket itself has a clip that fits into the Z axis, and this allows the basket with your 3D prints inside to be suspended in the bucket. Now, whether you are washing or curing, the top lid must be placed on there, otherwise the machine will not start. Now, this wash machine does not light up this way. I just simply put a flashlight at the top so that way you guys could get a better view of what is going on in there. One thing to note is that if you have some very, very delicate 3D prints, some very fine details like, let's say, antennas or spikes or something that could break off very easily, I would recommend caution using this method with the basket because sometimes these models will move around and they can hit against the sides of the basket. And if you've got something that's super delicate, I could easily see that causing it to break. Although I really haven't had any of those problems, I would say it's still something that you want to be cautious about. Now, if you have like an Elegoo Mars, your build plate should fit inside of this wash and cure station. And when you use the bracket, you can put the entire build plate in there to be cleaned along with your prints. This is far, far more convenient. And at the same time, it's cleaning your build plate along with your miniatures. So this makes it well worth it. I used water washable here. So I would highly recommend that if you're using the same thing, use warm water water. This makes the models come off the build plate super easy and the supports just fall off. This is the method that I would highly recommend because it's far more convenient.
All right, the models are cleaned and the supports are removed. It's time to cure these guys. Now, all you gotta do is remove the bucket and in the centerpiece, you're gonna see a little turntable here. You're gonna be given a disc that fits into that socket and then you can put your miniatures on there. I set the timer for about two minutes in one way and then once that timer is up, I then flip them upside down and then I do one minute that way. So it's a total of three minutes and I've never had any other problems when it comes to miniatures of this size with these cure settings. All right, everybody, so that concludes basically this review. Now, just to add a few points towards the end here, the pros and cons of a machine like this. Number one, it is a little pricey for a lot of people out there to get into something like this. And I understand that this machine's over $100. So a lot of people look at this and they go, well, I can go to the store and I can get, you know, a toothbrush and like a cup and then just, you know, wash it that way. Yes, you can, but there is always going to be a price for convenience. This is literally a set it and forget it. I can put my models in there with the entire build plate. I can click start and wash it all. I can go to the store, come back, and it's just still sitting there waiting for me. I didn't have to do any other type of cleanup other than just to pull it out and then just to take the models off of there. And then you're gonna put them right back in there to then cure them. So this is a lot more convenient than you know having to go out there and buy LEDs and come up with some contraption or something. Again, the whole point of this machine is convenience and it does that just fine. My only main complaint still here, <laughs> it's gonna be that damn bucket lid, okay? For $100, I expect the bucket lid to fit on there right and it should seal on there perfectly well if I drop this from like two feet I don't want to see the lid pop off and go flying you know it should be a nice high quality secure bucket so if they could probably change that unless I got like a fluke or something I would highly recommend them changing that however would I still purchase this knowing that the lid on that bucket is a piece of shit the answer honestly is yes I would buy one and the reason why is because doing it by hand and then doing it through this machine the machine is just far more convenient and the bucket lid is not like a deal breaker because I'm not gonna store anything in that bucket to begin with. It's just used there to hold my washing material so that way I can then eventually drain it and put it somewhere else once I'm done with it. I'm not gonna keep it in that bucket. So anyways, that concludes this review. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll have more for you later. Damn you, Gamza!